arrives at the station, the process of energy production begins. First, it goes into a furnace burner where it is burned. From the combustion, smoke is produced, which escapes through the stacks of the power station. The burner generates heat, which heats up a large water tank known as the boiler. The water that is heated in the boiler becomes steam. The high pressure steam goes into a turbine. The turbine has large bladed rotors, just like the sails of the windmill, which pushed by the steam rotate at a high speed. In turn, these bladed rotors activate a magnet that generates the electric current. This magnet is part of a device known as an electric generator. Lastly, the steam is separated. Some of the steam is distributed to the surrounding cities and villages via a network of pipes to provide heating. This process is known as district heating. The remaining steam cools, condenses into water and goes back to the boiler for reheating. Steam is used for chilling by spraying the pipes which convey it with water. The water evaporates and is released into the atmosphere through those characteristically large, thick cooling towers that appear to be forming clouds in the sky. Combustion, steam, turbine, electrical generator, electricity. Once electricity is generated in the power plant, it is distributed all over Greece through cables which are found on the transmission line towers. It is through these that it arrives in our houses. Highly trained personnel are involved at every stage of the process of generating electrical power. When at some point a conveyor belt tears, the welders are called in. They join additional pieces onto the conveyor belt to make it operate again. When a machine breaks down, the electrician fixes it. Thanks to them, the machines in the plant operate like clockwork. The rope axis technician's work is very difficult. They climb the electrical power pylons to fix them. They change the destroyed cables and join the cut ones. They undergo special training in order to climb the pylon safely. Apart from all the highly trained personnel, there are also the machine operators, the excavator drivers and the technicians. All of those people work hard so that the power plant operates non-stop.